All right. I'm still kind of annoyed that this uh, zero patrol is inside the inner area of the Elvia town area, so to speak, but whatever. We're just going to jump into the Reloran camp. I'm going to uh, kill the Reloran. And after that, we'll do the other zones that are left to do. You're dead. I'm actually going to turn down the volume a little bit. And let's push on. Plant. Shutting mold. Lots of dead stuff, or soon be dead stuff. Dodge that somewhat. They're all dead. And slowly we will clear through this area. So, the plans then. Um, at this point, uh, I've already noted already that I'm thinking about um, replacing my operating system sooner than later. So, actually, I'll turn on the volume just a little bit more. It's actually kind of loud for this mission. So it's worth knowing that, you know, because I'm like uh, sort of like speed running Detroit, or not really speed running, but I'm basically pushing to try and finish off these um, these playlists I have. Like this one's like the Ghoul Undead playlist, and um, I'm also doing a CNC for those viewing that as well. But the main thing is that right now I'm basically doing this like, you know, run here. Um, these runs with the ghouls and the, and the skeletons. And I'm actually sort of um, picturing what I'm going to do basically um, in terms of this playlist and the next one after it and um, so forth. I'm actually thinking that we're actually going to be nearing like the sort of end um, to tome. I've been playing Tales of Magiel for you know a long time I'll say and it's getting to the point where I'm actually thinking maybe it's about time I like moved on to another roguelike and started focusing on that instead of like coming back to uh, this one so much while Tome is a great game it's also a game that I played more than enough I think at this point so alright we got course fall there Course fall for those who remember is uh got itself the bone sphere type of thing on it, and it'll actually be more useful because I don't have to worry about it hitting my minions in front of me. I think we'll put it on course fall because of that, you know, one reason that I don't have minions to worry about. And look at that, we got a crappy face of ruin. Why not? Insult me, it would. Insult me, insult me. Give me crappy ruins. Why not? Well, anyhow, I'm going on about, you know, um, basically, I'm just, like, sort of thinking about, uh, bringing an end to my series and, or, or you know, the playlist, uh, concerning my videos on Tome. What I'm thinking about doing right now is we're going to basically uh, play, um, another skeleton after this. Maybe two, um, depending on how well, uh, or how terrible I do the next skeleton run. The last one, the skeleton bar was done so badly that, uh, I'm actually not too happy about how well it went, but when, anyways... Uh, let's see here. I need to get to level 12 for that. Get to stabilize, I guess, next. Alright, oh, let's pump that up to free. Hey, we got maximum mana. Magic Rider.
Anyhow, so we've done a Ghoul Necromancer. I've done a Skeleton Brawler. This is the Ghoul Paradox Mage. I'm thinking that um, further on, what I'm going to do is we're going to play um, uh, a Skeleton Sun Paladin after this run, I think, is what I'm planning to do. And after that, if um, that Skeleton Sun Paladin doesn't do well, I may do another Skeleton run. Or I just may move on to uh, do another playlist, which basically um, is it's going to feature one run of a Florin, a Halfling, a Yeek. Um, and stuff like that. All the all the races I get to win with, basically. So no higher, no shulorn, but all your stuff and not undead. Okay, I really don't need this. It looks cool, but I don't think I really need it. So we'll take that off. I'm gonna have to look at these sustains later on and see if they're worth using or not. Whoops. Should have aimed at a little bit farther. But anyhow, I've like, you know, told you I'm like sort of thinking about stopping, so to speak. Tells Magiel, like, you know, my videos for it and moving on to the roguelikes. Um, for those viewing my channel, I've like, you know, basically been doing, you know, one roguelike that caught me interest to the next one and all that. I was actually thinking about, uh, perhaps you guys would want to have, like, this sort of choice in what I play next, so... If you have ideas for roguelikes that you want me to play, maybe you could tell me. Um, I was thinking, if no one told me anything, I may go off to, uh, B-Rogue, which is basically an ASCII-only roguelike, but I figure it would be very useful to show that off, just to show off when a really true ASCII-type roguelike is, just to show how it's different from these tiled ones. Perhaps you guys have ideas though on what might be a better substitute or something you may want to see after B-Rogue if uh, you want to see it immediately, I guess. Preferably I hope it'd be uh, free to play, but I won't say it necessarily has to be. That guy's blocking there. But too bad for him, I just ran away. Alright, looks like that's it for this area. Uh, that's for Wilder Summon, so we don't really worry about that. That gives me maximum Psy, which is not really, again, very useful to me. We're not getting a whole lot of good drops, sadly. It's kind of annoying me. He died. Just doing mostly dust to dust, because why not? It doesn't really matter what I hit these guys with. At this point, I'm, sort of, I'm also trying to burn this character through uh, the early dungeons as fast as possible, because you guys have probably seen the Rolorn Camp, you know, if you've watched my videos enough, and... It's time to move on to more... Um, you know, stuff I die in, I guess, areas. I'm actually thinking about going to the Halfling Ruins quickly in this uh, run, so to speak. I've yet to do the Halfling Ruins for a while now. I, you know, I feel like I want to go back to it, show it off. Ooh, that looks painful. Hit him with that. And that's it for the Lauren Camp. So that's nicely quickly done. Again, crap. Crap. Uh, I prefer having this on for confusion takeoff ability. And there's stuff I don't really care about. <clears throat> 
So, that's all out of the way. I'm still looking for that giant spider spinneret, I guess, so... Maybe what I'll do now is we'll go to Trollmire. I don't think we did Trollmire yet. Hey, you're still there. Do I have any, um... I do have a arcane artifact, but I don't want to get, get rid of it just yet. Don't need that anymore. Right, I'm keeping this for mana regeneration. Actually, let's do Corpool. I don't think we've uh, done Corpool yet. I'm doing these uh, dungeons in such an odd order. It's like I'm doing all the tier 2 before I go to the tier 1. For the most part. Ooh, a skeleton archer. The Spectral Blade! That will be an artifact to give to, um, you know who? Gives me Blind Fight, gives me mana after each turn. It's funny, I can actually use this weapon if I want to. But, it's not too important to wield it, so don't worry about it. I just got stunned, that's not fun. Let's put this on, and... Confuse these bastards. And with that, being stunned reduced my damage quite a bit on that guy, but oh well. I'm actually not sure why I still have turn back the clock on here. It's actually not doing enough damage, I don't think, to uh, be stuff I want to be using at all. Put down here for now, I guess. And we'll leave that stuff all there, I guess. Right, don't have anything. This is one of the reasons like, you know, I moved this because I'm using it way too much. I'll move this over here now. We'll use Bone Spear as my main off source of damage, so to speak. And it looks like we've got the shade. And uh, apparently I don't have any ability to dig. I do not have the ability to dig. I do not have a pick. At all. Anywhere. Hey, I don't have any gloves either. Good to know. I need gloves. Oh! That hurt. Do this. And there is the shade in the distance. Um, we'll confuse him. Hopefully he'll lose some turns as a result of that. We'll hit him with dust to dust. And with that. And with this. Still confused, running around like an idiot. Here's where we turn back the clock. And with that, and there we go. We got a character level ten, and I defeated the shade without much issue. Fine, I might have some issue, but I didn't. Good for me. We'll pick up two to stabilize for now. There is the bomb. So I disable a target, inflicting temporal damage, and when targets die, they explode. I'm not wondering if it'll hurt me when they explode. Um, apparently I can't boost up magic enough for body version, but we don't really care too much about that just at the moment. Boost up willpower a little bit more, and I've got this category point. I think we'll save that for, you know, um, runes, or, uh, yeah, runes, I can only put on runes inscriptions for this character. I got soy script here, that's, um gonna give me poison immunity I don't think I benefit from that but whatever put on because I don't have any gloves anyways and it's not it's not like it's anti-magic right so it's good to put on 
Can't put on the floor wood carass because, you know, it's not something to put on. Nor do I really care about it. Alright, so looks like that was it. Let's see if we got an escort. Because that's part of the reasons I went to Corporal early. And we only got um, escorts, I guess, from one of the dungeons. The, uh... What dungeon was this? Kindling Caves that I was getting sh shot at with the uh, Spellblaze, I think it was. It's gonna go in here quickly. I wanna move around, make sure nothing's gonna pursue me if I open his chest. And for good reason, look at that. We got ourselves two skeleton warriors, we got Sandrake, and they're all right next to me. Okay, first things first, we're gonna jump out of here, and then we're gonna set up the bomb. Oh, what's this do? So this is, the sales of target, Okay, I can only stabilize one target. It's not a bomb type of thing here. I thought this is like, you know, something that you target something, but it's not. So I need an, an area effect soon. I'll probably have to get stop or slow. Probably gonna get stop, because this is an area effect type of thing. Or go after this stuff like I was planning to eventually. But whatever, let's um, hit these guys with beam. They're dead. We'll stabilize this guy. So this does 14.32 um, temporal damage per turn for 10 turns, and then it'll explode. So this guy will slowly lose health until he dies. And it explodes. Technically, by the way, this is possibly a really weak spell, but it's actually um, something that I can actually make use of. I can like run away from stuff, you know, put that on it and run away from it, and then they'll still take damage over time, and it'll be considerable damage. And we'll see how it works. Probably move this here. They're all dead. And there we go, we made it to Corp Pool 1 again. Uh, this is, uh, I'm keeping this for the lightning resistance, I guess. Um, I could use shields on this character, but I don't think we'll worry about it too much. I don't need stamina on this character, so we're pretty much good just to get rid of all this stuff. Open this. I love how we get, keep, keep getting these uh, surround stuff like this. All right, let's just boost away like this. And... Actually, you know what? I'm actually thinking about this now. This, this isn't a bad thing perhaps to get to destabilize, but the problem is that I really won't benefit until much, much later, I think. So let's take this out for now. Um, this attempts to pull the target apart at the Mucker level, inflicting temporal damage. This is my insta-kill thing, so I won't worry about that. We'll take this out of Carbon Spikes too. So I got Dust to Dust. We're not gonna worry about this stuff over here for a while. And instead, maybe I wanna start investing in some of this stuff. So send a blast of uh, Wave of Gravity and rate four raise cone. Fizzle damage and knocking back creatures and extra damage if they're pinned. 
Blast Wave may hit targets more than once, depending on radius and knock wave effect. This is a nice you know, thing for repulsing stuff, if I want to you know, keep myself away from stuff. Gravity Spike... Um, this was also another control feature, this will let me keep them away even more. Repulsion Field, you sound have uh, raised one distortion field, knocking back and dealing increase inside it. Effect last four turns, deals extra damage and all that. Alright, so the stuff I probably want to get here is probably Gravity Spike or Gravity Well. I know Gravity Well is quite powerful because um, Shard Skin used it and he like just decimated me sometimes with it. Alright, you know, let's just invest all in stop for now. We'll get this up as high as possible and then we'll use that to stun things. Try that out. So let's see, let's try it out. Um, I've got stop right here. And he's stunned for four turns. So basically, it's got a low stun, I guess. But at the same time, it'll flick damage on him as well. And it's an area effect, so I can stun multiple things. It's kind of like the Confuse, except... Uh, the Confuse is a cone and it is not. I assume this has a better range too. This has got range of 6. This has got range of... 7. So this has got a little bit better range, but not m m much better. Though it does hit stuff for damage, which is good. Stop. So I activate this, I'm going to try stunning him. That worked out well. Whoops, I did that wrong. Stun these guys, do that, and that. Hey, we got Silk Curtain. Or Silk Current, rather. This gives me extra movement speed. Um, this is actually a really good item for me because being a ghoul, movement speed is actually going to help me more than uh, life. So we'll put that on. This is good for maximum life. I don't really need to blight resistance for much of anything, really, so... Alright, let's continue. And there we go, we're done the uh, whole core pool. So, if um, I'm right, I, except for one dungeon, um, the Skinteling Caves, I've done every single one of the tier two, uh, or not tier two, but the second tier, tier one dungeons, so to speak, before I even got to doing all of uh, the first tier ones. Interesting enough. Okay, let's go down to uh, you. And I'm just going to go into Anglin right away to uh, see if um, he has access to Heat Beams, the Rune Master, in here. And he does not have Heat Beam. Though he does have Teleportation to Wizard, and he's got a Shielding Rune. But whatever. Um... I'm actually rather disappointed at this point. I'm actually getting a little bit concerned that status effects are again going to be an issue because um, the Skeleton Brawler, part of the reason I think he failed is just because I didn't have access to removing the stun. If I could have, like, you know, removed the stun on that stupid um, wolf that kept attacking me there, I might have, you know, I just went to the old forest. Sure, why not? Let's do a tier 2 dungeon. We'll make this very interesting. Let's 
Go up two. Not sure if you can hear people downstairs, but I certainly can. I have a very loud family. Can't commit you to come, eh? Alright, we're back. Family had asked me something. It's funny, at this point I'm just, you know, sort of like dropping stuff on these enemies willy nilly without any worry. Or we'll find an old spider, or not an old spider, a giant spider in this map. There's an imp. Didn't expect to find one of those. A hummer horn. Or we'll need those eventually. Well, I got the hummer horn dead, so if I need that ingredient, I have it. Go with this. All right. Um. All right. This vault. This is easy enough to deal with. Let's just drop. A stop right there. I'll try confusing these guys. Kill those. Kill those. Ooh, the Trent just popped out. That makes sense. Jump away from the Trent. I'm going to hit him with Termatic Clock. And I just entirely missed him there. Wasn't paying attention. He's out of the way. Drop down to stop again. These guys aren't poisoning, which is kind of nice. I was waltzed in there and didn't get poisoned at all or anything. Oh, there's a... Hey, an escort. Lead on, I'll protect you. Alright, sorry about that, but it looks like I lost some footage, so... We're here with this Sun Paladin. And, um... I actually, accidentally, at the start of this, I'll explore down there, and then... She somehow managed to, uh, not get killed. Luckily. Hey, there's her, uh, portal. Excellent. I want to kill this snake. And there we go. She managed to make it out. So, um... The Sun Paladin. She can give me access to Chant of the Fortress, Chant of Fortitude. Um... This gives me 4% physical reduction. This gives me physical save and spell save. I think we're actually going to grab Fortitude from her. And... We'll put that on. And let's just continue for the old forest. Since I came here by accident and I feel like clearing it. Hey look, bugs! We all love bugs. Kill the bugs. Nice thing about... Um, Slow here is that it's going to hit everything, or stop will basically hit everything in the area. And of course, all these guys were, you know, sort of locked in like a vault. So they don't all get hurt. Hit like that. Thank you. 
perfect. I bet there's still guys down here, but... Yep, there's still guys. Hit those. Hey, look, a uh, worm. Whoops, sort of moved back there. So I'm actually noticing this now, but it looks like Stop actually has a 12 turn cooldown. That's not bad cooldown. I mean, look at this, it's like, you know, cooldown free, but compared to my other stuff, which is cooldown free, it's uh, quite a bit to, you know, cast Stop over and over again. It's much like, you know, my um, Temporal f f um, Fugi. I'm not going to use my status effect. Um, unless, you know, I'm really careful of it. I basically won't use it twice in the same battle, more or less. Unless it's a really long battle. Yep, there's a poison ivy I missed over here. But it's dead. All right, we got ourselves in our point. Let's just drop this in the wreck. I'm going to drop another one to stop. You know, slow is not actually a bad thing. This is actually another thing that can sort of make up for the ghoul slowness, so to speak. So really, I just want to get you up to 36. And... We'll keep investing a stop for now, since I'm investing it so heavily now. Hey, I can actually take all the points out if I want to. It's worth knowing that slow and um, haste actually have massive cooldowns compared to, say, stop here. I assume they're quite... Powerful. Look at all those damn wolves. This will be fun. Um, let's go like this. Like that. Like this. Like that. I assume it's going to be a bunch more once I do this. Yep, another big line. Boink. Boink. And there's still more up here. Let's actually move forward twice. And then I'll get a massive stop on most of them. Do this. Kill those guys. And those guys. And those guys. Let's confuse what I can. Turn back to clock. There's probably still more in here. Because, you know, that's how these damn vaults work. They are frozen until you see them. This actually should be one of those vaults where if you see one of the monsters, it activates them all. Alright, kill this guy. Giant blue ant hit me, he must pay for that. You know, I'm thinking we're actually in an ant version of the, uh... Yeah, look at all the ants down here. Bugs. Guess why not? We need bugs. Those guys, uh, I hit those guys, kill these guys. There's a wolf, apparently. Kill those guys. We'll just go turn back to clock. That's all done. Hey, there we go. You can see a bunch of them now. Let's see here, I want to go stop on 
Those guys will go like... That and kill a bunch of them. I'm going to drop... I want to kill that Fire Ant, actually. Fire Ant's the main issue I'm going to worry about, so... Kill him. And... A bit of lag there, but it still worked. Go like this. Kill those guys. Kill those guys. And we still have a few more ants. Don't know why I confused these guys. I actually meant to stun them. But whatever. Boink. Boink. I'm actually going to change those around. A few more. And we're done. Bears. Get those out of the way. There's a rogue up here. There's a Trent. And why not? We probably got another one of these, uh, yeah, vaults of the Trent. Okay, let's go with um, stop. Confuse and zap like this. I do want to get that much at least, so we'll do that. Kill those guys. New. It's nice how they're not firing at me. They should be like poisoning all over the place, but they're not. I guess because I came in here lower than I usually do. What's this? This gives me strength and dexterity. Not a bad amount, but I need armor training for it, which I don't have this yet. And I'm not going to try and invest in this yet. A warrior lore master, lead on, I'll protect you. Assuming I don't hit auto explore. Drop this in here. Let's go with. Damn, I don't think I can hit these guys. Oh, yes, I can. Do that. And that. Ow. Heal up a little bit. And where is your portal? Still far away to the north, she says. Oh, nice. She hits me in the face. Or in the back, rather. And why not? She hits me some more. So you're going this way. There's a portal. And there's a white. Oh, white didn't die. The lore master makes it, and she's able to give me disarm, spit poison, mind seer, or one of these talents. Why not? Um, what do I get? That's for mind power, that's for strength for dexterity, that's for, you know, this disarming stuff. I don't think we need any of this stuff, so let's go to stat. I think we'll go for improved magic by 2. 38, we get a little bit more magic and then we'll be up on our way to, um... What will I do with, like, you know, 40 magic? Increase my magic damage, basically? 
what I'm planning to do with it. Now, by the way, I think, um, oh, I don't need white, um, for anything. So, the white is an ingredient, but I don't need it for anything. <clears throat> if you can't tell, I'm still not worried about anything in here. Just, you know, autopiling everything, more or less. Snakes! So many snakes. Kaboom. And let's try and confuse what we can. Boink. I want to... Zap those guys. Those guys. Those ones. Those ones. And there should be a bunch more because that's, you know, how these faults work. But I think I actually got a good chunk of them. At the start there, which is nice. And this is going to be a white. Hello, tw level 26 white. You should be fun. Let's go with... Uh, stop. Confuse. Blast. 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 And he flame shocked me, so this is on cooldown, I guess. Well, um, he's almost dead, so I guess we'll just try and finish him off. Okay, wow. Um, I didn't expect that he could hurt me that much. I'm actually in a place where I can't teleport either. I might be in trouble. Um, this is hurting me over time. And, of course, it confused me, too. He's actually going to heal up from this more so than I think I will. Let's just back off. I'm no longer in a place where I have to uh, worry so much about, you know, him. I'm actually got lucky there. I, Al is, you, you know, had a confusion work this. I might fail to do this, instantly move here. Ow. Or, like, you know, just jump away like this, which I'm going to do. Okay, we're just going to get away from him. We're just going to stay away from him until I can heal up. He's right there at 9% health. We're going to put our shield on right away. I'm going to try... Stunning him, confusing him, do this, do that. All right, we got rid of him without much worry, but there was lots of worry before I got rid of him. We got pickaxe, and now it looks like we actually got one of these, a Randart weapon. Nothing too Ooh. Don't know when we got this, but I'm happy we got it. Use the uh, teleportation ruin. Um, I did use that teleportation ruin, right? Let's actually do this now, I guess. Move all this stuff over here. Ah, there it is. There's my teleportation ruin. So I now have two, uh, or three methods, or four methods of, like, moving around with, uh, special abilities. Uh, let's see here. So I have the slice grip, which gives me a little poison immunity. I'm not sure that really benefits me, but whatever. Um, I don't benefit from that pretty much at all, so I don't really care about it, though. That gives me maximum life, but... 
This, oh, actually, I like to, I like this for a size carry more than anything else, I guess. Behemoth hide. Is it worth putting that over this? I'm gonna say no, but I'll keep it just in reserve. Put this in my, you know, thing there, and we won't worry about that. So all this stuff is gone. Holy crap, Rafu's right here. This will be fun. Let's put on, um, stun. And do this. Oh crap, I'm got that crap on me. Let's wreck. Let's try confusing him. Apparently I brain locked him, but that's all I did. Zap with this again. I've only taken him out to 65% health. And he's in melee with me. This is not a good place to be, actually. We're gonna teleport somewhere. I love having this teleportation room because this will be very useful to me. Compared to the crappy face door rune, the teleport will actually let me um, deal with things a lot better. Skeletal Rat. This is something new. I've never seen one of these before. So, Skeletal Rat. Teeth, claws, ground to the sharp point. It glares at you menacingly. A summoning tree. Hey, look, there's a uh, raft root, and all my things are on cooldown, more or less. Let's do this. I try to uh, freeze me there, I think. Luckily, the um, silk current is actually going to reduce his damage quite a bit. Do that. Do that. Good, we confused them. Put this on, put this on. He's out of the way. Actually proved a little bit of a, of a tight spot there with um, Rafru to uh, sort of coming at me right to start. But I got through. Um, not gonna worry about Nah. We'll get another one of Rex. We'll bump up stop to maximum uh, power, I guess. Next level we'll be able to get uh, this other stuff, I assume. What we could get now, we'll get to stop up first. And let's see here. I want to get. I'll actually bump that back down. We'll just bump up our willpower for now. Let's look at our items I've picked up. I got myself the Girl of Calm Waters back there. It gives me cold resistance, nature, and blight. Um, I like the knockback immunity maximum current currents, but the extra resistances from this is what's really making this shine to me. Plus the willpower. I think we're gonna go like that. Don't really care about these other stuff. There's another teleportation we're gonna look at. So blind fear to wooden rope. This gives me damage when I hit stuff in melee. Damage when stuff hits me. Changes my resistance to 40% mind. Mental save, mind power, light radius, mental crit chance. That's actually not all bad stuff. But it's too random, I guess, to me to make my, my attention go to it. Okay, this gives me a random range of 34, cooldown 18. Alright, well this is obviously better than this current one, so I won't worry about this one. So it's, actually, you know what? Let's use this over the phase door. So now I have two teleportation ruins. That's better than one. Especially better than a phase door, at least. Looks like stuff's starting to spit at me quite a bit here. The plants. What was once not spitting is now spitting at me. 
think we're going to clear the map before I deal with anything else. Nice, big range and stop now. And that pickaxe that was dropped there is going to give me two cunning, one strength, four accuracy, disarm immunity, information radius. You know what? This is actually more decent than that. Put that on and we'll take off both of these things. This um, pickaxe will give me more infravision infra radius, so if I'm in a dark, you know, a dark area... Whoa! Where did these shadows pop up from? Do not care, let's just back off. Get off of me! Shall we phase door and get out of here? Okay, where is the doomed? The doomed. There it is, a honey tree. Yoink. Put this on. Yoink. You're actually getting really annoying. Let's just hit you in the face. Wait, did I just do darkness damage to... This guy, I think, heals on darkness damage, sadly, so that's actually a bad thing. Let's do that. I'm gonna stay away. Wretch. I'm actually gonna go change my staff to something else that's uh, not resistant to a lot of stuff. Boom. Boom. I'm actually gonna wait a turn. Zap him again. And it's out of the way. Ah ha ha, it's actually chasing me around that bear. To the west, in our honey tree. I'm getting lots of honey trees. I'm glad, I'm glad I picked up Corporal's staff, because it's actually really useful here. On this character. Alright, everything else has been cleared out except for this one little dungeon up here. Let's actually see what this is all about, this Forsaken Crypt. I wonder if this is going to be a bad idea, but this is actually the first time I've come to this Forsaken Crypt, I think. Your squeaks and sounds of clicking bones echo around you. Pure death awaits. Flee! That's a good warning, isn't it? Flee or you will die. A spectral rat! An eerie haze surrounds this translucent rat. And apparently... Vampire rat looks much like a normal rat, that is, other than the very large fangs. Ghoulish rat, layers of rotting skin are peeling off this rat, one of the eye sockets appears empty. Wish I could see fighter up below. Well. Let's back up. Do this, hit them both. You are dead. You are hit. You are dead. Hey look, it does ghoulish leap. I like this rat. Wish I could have this rat. Eh, well, that tells me there's something up there. Must be something that's doing cold flames up there. Gigantic bone rat. This massive beast appears to be a rat composed of countless bones fused together. I guess that's a gigantic bone golem type of rat, so to speak. And you sh shrugged off stun. And I apparently hurt myself there like an idiot. Let's try confusing it. Hit you with this. It's confused and fails to attack. Very good of it. Let's actually jump up here. Drop that down. That was not as scary as I thought it might be, even though it was elite.
Apparently, the vampire rat can invoke darkness. Of all things. Chilling area. This is a chilling area. Alright, what did the cold flames? Vampire rat does the cold flames, so. Vampire rats can do cold flames. Good to know. Let's move around. There's another skeletal rat. It did reassemble! Isn't that, uh. comical? It really is comical. Okay, we got ourselves Gersia, the ghoulish rat. She's uh, doomed. I have to kill her quickly before she causes me problems. So let's just drop a stun immediately on her. Hit you with this. Hit you with that. Apparently I can confuse all that stuff, but that's not really what I'm after. Let's, um... Yeah, we'll hit one of these shadows, I guess. Boom. She's out of the way. I assume there's a feat. She, I can't really tell. Rats don't have gender, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Boom. 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 Another vampire rat. You think of all the skeleton bone rats that are, on, you know, just above this uh, at the time. There would be more skeletal minions in here. I'm not sure if I'm hitting stuff here. Oh, it's up there. Do that. Do that. Here's out of the way. There is another skeletal rat. And another skeletal rat. And another ghoulish rat. Boom. Boom. Slip on some rocks. Love how they keep reassembling like that. It's very convenient because it means that, um... Okay, something has hit me for arcane damage. Lots and lots of, uh, damage there. Okay, I can't... apparently jump out that far, so let's just do this. Put this on. I'm not sure what hit me, but it hurt. So we're just going to move away. Until I have my HP back, so to speak. Because they did a lot of damage there. Whatever it was that hit me. There's a golem. The ghoulish rat has a golem. Boink. 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 Okay, so I think she's down here. Yeah, right there. All right, you're using channel staff on me. Let's do this. Stunned. All right, we got the ghoulish rat. Information is very useful, but the only problem with it is that um, it's only as useful as, uh, you know, what I can, you know, sort of see. Okay, you're not dead yet, so you must die. Alright, there's still something hitting me with lots of darkness damage all over the place. So it's just, uh, I don't have line of sight. Apparently, I have to see what I'm doing. For that to work. Alright, something is doing lots and lots of darkness damage for some reason. Rat Lich! There's a Rat Lich here, apparently. Of all things. Guess that's what we have to fear, right? The Rat Lich. Har har. <clears throat> Seriously, where's the rat lich? I 
Let's be down that hall, perhaps. There it is, the rat licks, the unique. The master of the pit is before you. It squeaks with a menace as it is. A horde of minions approach you. Okay, we'll put this on. Let's try to stun it. I'm going to... Um, What should I do? Let's back up. I'm actually going to try and like closer to me, I guess. Damn it, I didn't mean to put it in that, but oh well. It's in it now, so I guess I'll deal with it. Um, let's try confusing it. It's actually going to heal in this retron that I put it in, so... Let's just jump away a little bit. So we're going to play keep away with it at the moment until I get my Rex back up. Uh, kill you. I'm actually about to level. Hey look, a uh, Spectral Rock can go for the walls. Okay, it's good to know, there's actually some, you know, ability to see stuff over in this area. So if I alert a ghost lat licks over in this direction, I'll be able to take them out easily. Or easier. Be an operative word. Okay, that's kind of scary how it just sort of jumped there, but whatever. Let's just, um, kill you. Three percent to go until I level up. Two percent, one percent, and there we go. We've le reached level thirteen, just like that. Um, I'm going to eventually get this stuff over here, but you know what? I think what we're going to do is we're going to get body reversion as soon as possible for healing against that other guy. For, you know, I, well, just for any other guys, this, but this is another thing to let me heal up a little bit. That's what it's really for. I'll push up this up to 40 magic at least, and pick that up. Well, actually, let's pick up a ghoul. I want to reduce the amount of damage he's capable of uh, doing on me just in case he's able to hit hard. That, you know, rat lich. Okay, the rat lich is around me somewhere. Don't know where. Ow. Okay, let's just uh, hit you in the face. I can't apparently hit him. This is the only problem with the rat wreck. That you sort of have to be careful of him. I mean, this is, you know, a fun thing, right? Watch me sort of screw around with uh, a really tough enemy. There we go. Okay, we can see him. I'm going to put on a shield. We're going to try stunning him. That was excellent. Apparently, I should have gone forward. I have no line of sight. Let's just do this then so I can see him. It's down to 81% um, ability, more or less. Let's just uh, zap him with dust to dust. He didn't the uh, fear the knife thing and knocked me back there. Let's. Um, I have ashes to ashes now. What's this do? You surround yourself and raise free, which deals blah blah. That's fine, but not really what I need right now. Let's push this this way. Um, he actually put my Temporal Fugi on cooldown there for a bit, but whatever. Let's just zap him. 
Do that to him. It's just uh, confusing me somewhere in that area. I'm just going to jump here and see him and... Why not? You know, he just has to have the ability to resurrect himself. Don't you know? He's the master of this area. Alright, well let's just uh, teleport. I'm actually getting kind of scared of this guy, because you know he just pulled a master on me, so to speak. Let's kill that first. I got one of these crappy things on top of me, so let's just uh, back up. And why not? Let's put it on Rex. It'll probably heal this guy quite a bit, but the real thing is to. Was this way, so to speak? Damn, these things are everywhere. And that guy is definitely behaving like a bone giant, that um, gigantic bone rat. Stun it. Squeak! As if I need to know it's a mouse. Why do these guys are granting me experience? Alright, so there's the Rat Lich. He's up to... I guess more health at this point? I think he's got more health. Let's, um... Hit him with this. There's the Arcane Blast he did. Mana Frost. At least he's stunned, and he lost some health. Let's, uh... Do some more to him. Do a bit more to him. My thing's gone, so I think we're actually going to teleport a little. Apparently got two spectral rats around me, that'll be fun. Do that. But yeah, these guys aren't giving me any experience, these summons. Bah. Why not? Let's do that. Okay, let's just go kill them both. Step out of the freezing flame, so to speak. Excellent, he got frozen. You're dead. Isn't it, isn't this exciting me? Watch me be an idiot. As a recommendation, I can already tell you, you shouldn't be doing what I'm doing here, attacking this stuff. It's very stupid if you do. Alright, we stunned him. He's gonna try and pin me. Do that. Um... I'm actually thinking... What am I thinking? I guess we'll bump... No, I don't have line of sight. I can't bump further into there, sadly. I don't want to be caught by... this. So let's just go away. We're gonna treat him like the master. Use the same strategy, so, so to speak, with him. Which, of course, is to stay away from him. The strategy is to stay away from him and eventually kill him. Alright, he's right there. Let's just hit him with uh, stun. And that. The Rat Lich roguelike killed the terrible Rat Lich. That was worth it. Skull of the Rat Lich. The ancient skull is all that remains of a Rat Lich. Some fragments of his power remain, and a faint light, red light glows in his eyes. Kill these guys. Alright, let's see here. So. I killed the Rat Lich, and he gives me his skull, and I got this, well, I'll move out everything that might be possibly useful. Then I'll see if it actually is useful.
All right, Skull the Rat Witch. It can be used to raise undead rats, um, costing seven out of sending power. It is a type of tool when damage where it hits is 12 darkness, spell power 10. Let's take that out. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, get out of here. It's all that stuff in the process. Okay, this um, rare item gives me maximum life 22. A bunch of all other crap gives me one more hit for physical damage. When I'm lead, blah blah, don't care about the other stuff. It's basically a more powerful version of the Copper Ring of Tenacity over here, or this one over here. I guess we'll take off that one. Yeah, we'll take off this one. Put you on over it. Alright, so we got the Skull of the Light. Which, can I use this? So I must wear the object to use it, sadly. But it is a powerful object to use with a spell power and spell crit chance. So you know what, let's just put this on. I'm gonna put on the Rat Lich uh, item. We're gonna wait a bunch of turns here. We're just gonna test out this uh, item and see how it works. The Skull of the Light Rat Lich is mine to command. And I command it to make Rat Lich minions. Alright, so we got ourselves... Cool. I don't mind these. Wasn't I just saying I would have liked to have these? And now I do. I'm very happy now. Alright, let's just get out of here. So I didn't mean to go to the old forest, but... All in all, it was a very useful journey because I came in here and I got to see a new dungeon never seen before. But now we'll go back to Trollmire and all this uh, try and clear out the first tier stuff that I missed, or didn't do rather. Because I probably should do it. I'm really doing this game, uh, this particular run of the game, completely out of order for how I usually do it. For sure. Okay, I'm out! I'm finally out! And we did the old forest! It's actually funny because, um... I've already done one of the uh, tier 2 dungeons and I've yet to complete all the first tier dungeons. Anyhow, we're going to leave our character here on top of Trollmire. Next time we'll do Trollmire. Maybe we'll do out the Norgos Lair. I should probably do the Assassin Lore sometime. And... Hopefully we'll find maybe one of these... Uh, we didn't find a Black Mama head. That's actually a, a, big, a big loss to us, actually. If I don't find a Black Mama, then Grimm is going to be that much harder to find, actually. Oh, well, take care. That's it for this episode. I'm done. Um, I'm not sure you saw that, so I just want to make sure it's in there. But Dark God has put on Bearscape for me, or for players right now on line. But anyhow, um, it is time to get out. We'll worry about Bearscape in our time. Take care.